I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you a trigonometric identity in which square or trigonometric ratios are involved. So whenever you see such an identity, it's good to uh, recall our Pythagorean trigonometric identities, which are uh, sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1, and relating to tan, it is 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x, right? So these two could help us simplify the right side and to get the right, left side, okay? So in this particular case, I'll use these two identities. We'll start with the right side. So right side is given to us as cos square x plus tan square x. Now, what is cos square x? Cos square x could be written as 1 minus sine square x, correct? So from here, I could write cos square x equals to 1 minus sine square x. So replacing cos square x by 1 minus sine square x and tan square x could be written as secant square x minus 1. So I replace tan square x by secant square x minus 1. Now 1 minus 1 is 0. So we are left with minus sine square x plus secant square x. And if I rearrange this, I get secant square x minus sine x, sine square x, correct? Which is the left side. So we have proved that right side is equals to the left side and therefore this identity is uh, perfect for all values of x. Now, you could do the same question starting with the right side. So you could also start from the right side and do the same question. Uh, let's do it. I mean the left side. So the left side for us is secant square x. Let me rewrite secant square x minus sine square x. Is that okay? Now secant square x is 1 plus tan square x. So I could write this as 1 plus tan square x minus, put brackets, sine square x is 1 minus cos square x, 1 minus cos square x. Good. Now put the brackets, 1 plus tan square x minus 1 plus cos square x, correct? So 1 minus 1 is 0. So what you get here is tan square x plus cos square x. Or you could write this as cos square x plus tan square x, which is the right side, correct? So you have proven that left side is equals to right side. And that's the alternate method to do it. Alternate method, right? So, so either way you could start and prove this identity. Important thing is that these two trigonometric Pythagorean identities can be utilized to prove this particular identity. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand these strategies which could be adopted to solve such questions. Thank you and all the best.